of a North Carolina amusement park working on fixing the alarming crack on its roller coaster ride. You see it right there. It was spotted by a concerned dad. The ride shut down, and this morning we have new details. ABC's Mona Kozar Abdi is in Coney Island, New York, with more on this. Mona, good morning. Geo, good morning. Fortunately, that dad you mentioned brought his concerns to park officials and that ride was shut down. But despite quick attempts by park officials to replace the beam, it will be the state that ultimately decides if that ride ever reopens. This morning, new details on the investigation into that alarming crack in a North Carolina roller coaster as the amusement park Carowinds makes urgent repairs to reopen the ride safely. I would say that these types of incidents are extremely rare. And I am confident that Carowinds is taking the precautions necessary. According to the Associated Press, the North Carolina Department of Labor saying they found the crack had been visible for at least a week before the ride was officially shut down for repairs. Terrifying. Terrifying. And they said they inspect their rides daily. How did something this big go? Uninspected. This part of an ongoing investigation launched following the shocking video taken last month, which shows the crack open and close as a Fury 325 rounds the turn. The pillar itself shifting as the train of passengers zooms by at approximately 95 miles per hour. In a statement, the amusement park now writing that the split appears to have formed along a weld line in the steel column, adding that after replacing the column, they will operate, quote, 500 full cycles, performing tests and inspections of the entire ride throughout that period. States are responsible for establishing ride safety standards and routine inspections, and in North Carolina, the state must issue a new certificate of operation before this ride can reopen. I've told our staff and I've told Carewinds that uh, we will not do that until we are 100 percent comfortable uh, with uh, the safety protocols. This incident, just the latest in a series of recent close calls on roller coasters. At a Wisconsin fair, riders were stuck upside down for hours after a roller coaster stalled. And SeaWorld San Diego closed this electric eel ride after a man was injured and taken to the hospital. And as for the North Carolina ride, the state commissioner says that Carowinds has been cooperative and has taken swift action to implement preventative measures already with. All right, an alarming case there. Okay, Mona, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.